Okay, today we're going to look at a second order partial derivative. All right, so what I mean by second order partial derivative? Previously, we do first order, All right? Previously, we do first order where our n here is 1. R here uh, or something x power something, this one below 1 is 1. So this one is uh, first order. Today, today, we look at second order. Second order means your n equal to 2, meaning you do differentiation two times. Okay, you do differentiation two times. Okay, today we're gonna look at this one. Huh? So your n equal to two, and since we are keep repeating the differentiation concept, um, you'll be you'll be able to go faster in this uh, session. Okay, uh, before this we have looked, uh, we have given you a lot of table, a lot of uh, direct. Uh, answer from a uh, general equation of differentiation into the answer and even the integration also. Huh? So you can make full use of that uh, table. <coughs> okay. Now again, today we we'll look at um, second order partial differential derivative. Huh? So n equal to 2. So as you can see today, our first example here, you will see a is the uh, partial differential uh, power 2, z divided by uh, differential of x power 2. And you're given the equation of z. Eh? z equal to 4x square y power 3, that is the first term or first item in the equation, minus 2x power 3 plus 7y square. So how do you do double uh, uh, second order partial differential means you do it two times. You differentiate it two times. Huh? So I write the question on the left, green color. So you're given the question, z equal to this one. So what, 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 do, what do you do the next step? Is that you do the first integration first. Okay, you do the first integration of x, meaning you look at one, two, three. So you look at the first one first. First one, you differentiate over x. Edmund, what do you get for the first one? You differentiate over x, what do you get? Eight, eight. eight x, what? What happened to y power 3 when you oh. differentiate? Y power 3. Yeah, y power 3, what, what do you do with it? Cancel. You cancel? Oh, no, no, no. For uh, x, y power 3. You continue to carry into your answer, huh? because you, you, when you differentiate over x, you see this one as number. You see this one as number. You close this one. I mean, you see this, this whole thing as a number. Then you carry forward. Okay, so you only differentiate the x component. So you have 8x and then y power 3. This is your first, first one. Okay, so during test, what you do, the next step is that you write this, these steps. All right, you do differentiation, first differentiation, there z over del x equal to del over del x, then you bracket the first number, the first item here. This is, a this is a step that we expect in your answer. So you write del z over del x equal to del x, then bracket, then copy the first one. Positive, copy the same thing, del over del x, bracket, copy the second one. Then do the third one, positive, del over del x, bracket, copy the third one. Then only you do the um, differentiation. Okay, so the first one, first one, you differentiate this whole thing with this operation. You will get 8x, this one becomes 8x, and then this one you continue to write. Okay, so this one, 4x power 2, y power 3, you differentiate over x, you'll get x, x, y power 3. Then this one, Nizam, 
What do you get for this one? Nizam, what do you get for this one? Uh, 6x of 2. And then, what about this one? Uh, negative 6x power 2. Okay, yes. The answer is negative x power 2. And Edmund, what happened to this one? Become 0. Okay, correct. Because there's no x there. Okay, there's, there's no x there, so it becomes 0. Okay, all right. Then you simplify your answer. You simplify your answer. You write del z divided uh, over del x equal to 8xy power 3 minus 6x power 2. After you get this one, you do one more time. You use this equation to differentiate one more time. It becomes del power 2z divided by del x power 2. Basically, you differentiate one more time this one. Okay, and what? how do you write? You write the same pattern as this one. Okay. Or you can... Uh, okay. So... Alright, so you... You... The next step from here to here, you write del over del x, this one, plus del over del x, this one, and then you the next row, you write the answer. So this one, if you integrate one more time, you get 8x, you integrate one time, you get 8. y power 3, you continue to carry onward, you continue to carry. So this one, you integrate over x, you get this one, 8y power 3, and this one, minus 6x squared, you differentiate over x, 2 pull to the front, get 12. x power 1, the, uh, remember the negative sign. Huh? Continue to carry the negative sign and write your answer. You rearrange. This is the answer for the first one. Okay. Now, by looking at the same pattern, uh, Nizam, Try to solve B. Nizam and Edmund, try to do B. I try, I, maybe I give you one minute to solve it. While you solve your, the question, I check attendance. Oh, Shakir is here. Shakir, you can hear me? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Shakil, you also try to solve B by using the method I show on the screen here. Maybe I give you guys uh, one minute. One minute, try to write on a piece of paper. And then ready your answer. I will ask you what is the answer. B is double differentiation or Second order of partial differential of over y. Okay, let's move on. So for the B, you copy the equation. And then again, this is a second order. So you do the first order first. You differentiate one time first over Y. Okay. Over Y. So I expect this one in the answer. Edmund, what is the first answer? What is the first answer for the first one? 12 x power 2, y power 2. Okay, correct. You get 12 x power 2, y power 2. 
Shakil, what do you get for the second one? Shakil, solve this one. Shakil, are you there? What is the answer for this one? Yeah. Ed Edmund can tell you this answer. Edmund expert already. This kind of question. This one differentiate over y, right? Is there any oh, y? Uh, negative 6x to the power 2. No, what is this differentiate over? This one, you oh, focus okay. on y, what? Uh, 0, 0. This, ah, so this one don't have y, so 0. 0. Okay. Uh, Nizam, what is this? What is the answer for this one? 14y. 14y, correct. So this is the first differentiation. What about the second one? Okay, so this is the answer for the first, uh, first partial differential. What about the second partial differential? All right. We can do the answer, right? Okay, Shakir, what is the answer for the first one? What should you write over here, the first one? After you differentiate over y? Shakir, I cannot hear you. What is the answer after you differentiate over y, this one? 24x to the power 2y. Okay, correct. Then this one, 14. Eh? Yeah. Any questions so far for this one? No, sir. Clear. Edmund, you okay? Nizam, you okay, yeah? This one? Yeah, okay. So, the third one, uh, quite popular in test also final exam. Uh, the first two is quite easy. The third one might be a little bit challenging because this one is del x over del y and the d we flip the denominator. How do we solve this kind of question? For this kind of question where we del x over del y in the denominator, we will do uh, del y first. Okay, we will do del y first. So we pick del z over del y. You do the same thing, differential. The first one, you look at y, you get 12 x power 2, y power 2. This one, you don't have y, so 0. This one, there's a y, so this one, 2 times 7, 14 y. This one, 2 minus 1, you get 1. Okay, it should be easy for you guys now. Then the next one will be focusing on, after you do this one, you're focusing on x. Okay, you do the del y first, then you do del x. Huh? So if you, the next step, huh? you write the question. You look at the question, which one to go first, you start with the, the one on the back first. This one, you do the del z over del y. Then you continue with the del x. Means after these steps, what you do, you focus on the x and not y. So you this is the operation. Del over del x. I mean you can break you can break this equation into del over del x, del z over del y. This is the equation equivalent to this one. Okay, eh? this one, this equation, you can rewrite in this equation. This second order partial differential, you can write in this form where you can write del over del x and del z over del y. So you already done this one, right? Previously, the next step is to del x. So mean you put this whole equation 
and you do differential over x. So the next step, you focus on x. You will, this is the steps. Then you differentiate over x, you focus on x. 2 times 12, you get 24. x power 2, 2 minus 1, you get x. y power 2 continue because it's joined together. You join together, means multiplication here. So it become one body, so you continue to carry the y continue. And this one, 14y, this time you differentiate over x. There's no x there, so it becomes 0. Okay? So if no question over here, you should be able to do y. Only now, the y now, you have to flip the operation here, where the next step to solve this one, you start with del x, and then you do del y. This is just a simplification. The next one, uh, the D one, what you do, you write the question, then you rewrite the formula. Okay, you can, you can straight away write this formula. Uh. You can straight away write this formula. Del Z, sorry, uh, there's a typo error there. It should be del square Z over del Y del X. Uh. There's a typo error in this line on the left hand side there, it should be del square. Uh, it should be del square z divided by del y del x equal to del over del y, uh, del z divided by del x. So this one you can do, right? This one, the z differentiate over x, you get this one. Okay, so this equation over x already done in the a part just now. So you did get 8xy power 3 minus 6x squared. You put this one inside this one and you differentiate over y. So this one don't have y becomes 0. This one you focus on y. 3 pull to the front 24xy. This one minus 1 you get 24xy 2 plus 0. So this is the answer. Huh? Okay. I hope you clear. So when the question asks you to do this one, you give me this set, uh, the answer in C. If the question asks you to del y, del x, you do the del x first. Then you del y if you solve for D. Any questions so far? For example, number seven. Mm, no, uh, everyone clear. OK, good. Stop me uh, if you're not able to understand why suddenly a certain number come in. So as you can see here, C and D, for D you get 24xy square. For C just now, for C just now, you also get 24xy square with the same equation. So you can make an equation, a uh, uh, relationship between C and D. Basically, C and D, they are the same. Okay, basically, if you see the question C and D, although you flip between x, uh, del x, del y, del y, del x, both of them, you get the same answer. So it doesn't matter if you flip the sequence, you still get the same answer. Okay, so this is the one of the way when you try to solve problem. Actually, uh, if sometimes you need to flip the denominator, sometimes. Huh? So sometimes it's more easy to do x first, then y first. Uh, x first, then y. Sometimes it's easy to solve y, then x. So it depends on situation. Okay, But the standard operation is the one that I show you on the screen here. Okay. Next example, number eight, we'll look at e power something how we solve using the method that we just learned. Okay, we need to show this equation, z equal to e power t multiplied by sine theta. So basically, we have two equations here. One is e power something, one is sine theta. So we have two functions there. So when you have two functions, remember, you can use the u and v uh, uh, product rules. 
You can use product rules to solve this one. Okay. Now you need to show that the A left hand side equal to right hand side and B left hand side equal to this one. So you need to solve. So you can do either the, the first one, you do the first one and then you do the second one and then match together, compare side by side. I'll do the A for you, B as your homework, although the answer I'll be given you in the slides. B is your homework, I will show how to do A. First, always write the equation given in the question, then you start. Because the question in A, it asks you to do second order partial differential or double differentiation of over Z, right? Z over T. So the first one, you do the first, first uh, differentiation. You look at this one, you do first differentiation over T, so you only look at T. So uh, e, power, e power negative T is one function. Sine theta is one function. So sine theta doesn't have uh, a T, so you just continue to carry the, 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 the sine theta into the next steps. And you differentiate first time e power negative t, you, you, you copy e power negative t, and then you, again, you need to look into the t. So up there, the t is negative t, so you differentiate negative t, you get negative 1. Okay, you differentiate negative t, you get negative 1. So negative 1 multiplied by the answer, you get negative e power e t sine theta. Again, there's a table I've given you in the previous lecture when you do differentiation over e power x. There's a equation or answer in the table there. You just need to refer back to the table. Okay, so here to here, you do uh, del z over del t, the first differential equation first. The question asks you to do double differentiation, so you differentiate one more time over t, so again, there's one more, uh, the, inside this equation, there's only one t in the equation. Sine, you continue to carry forward. Okay, so what you do, sine continuing to copy, and now you differentiate the e power negative t. Uh, you differentiate negative e power negative t, so you continue to carry the negative, and e power t, and then you go inside the t which is on the top there. So we go inside the T, you still see negative T. So what happens if you differentiate negative T, you get negative one. So negative one multiplied by negative E, you get positive E power negative T sine T. Any questions so far from here to here? Edmund, you okay? From here to here? Okay, yeah. Nizam, you okay? Here to here? Yeah. All right. Now we have done showing you the theta. Then we need to equal to the um, angle. Okay, so we, we put this one one side and then we do another side with a negative sign. Okay. So this is a... a, a when you do the first integration using the equation, but this time you differentiate over the theta. So this equation, you integrate over theta. So the e power negative t, you continue to carry forward. You, do, you don't touch the e power negative t, but you look at theta when you differentiate over theta. So sine, you differentiate first time. Differentiate first time, you get cos. Then you differentiate one more time. Again, when you differentiate one more time, the second order differentiation over theta, you only look at theta. The e negative t, e power negative t, that one you carry carry forward. You, con you don't touch it, but you carry forward to the next question, uh, next answer. So cos, you differentiate cos, you'll get negative sign. So from here to here, you get negative e power e t sine theta. The question asks you to prove the a. Eh? You look at the a. A, uh, second, second order partial differential of z over t equal to negative second order partial differential of z over theta 
if you compare this one and this one, you put into the equation, they will be equal. Because this one is negative, the question in front of the second part is there, there is a negative, so negative, negative, you get back positive. You prove the equation. Okay? Any question so far? B as your homework, huh? So you just write your answer like that. This one equal to negative this one because this one is negative. So negative, negative become positive. So this one is the positive answer. Okay, B as your homework, huh? B as your homework. Okay, next we look at total differential. What I mean by total differential means we look at the overall changes of something. So for example, your Z is in the function of something, right? So we already explained what I mean by Z equal to F and then you bracket U comma V comma W comma. We already explained that in the previous lecture. Okay, so we want to find the sum, the sum of separate partial differential of z. So we can use this equation. Okay, we can use this equation. So what mean what mean by that? We will, sh we will show you in the example later on. But this is a general equation. Let's say you have a z equation and you want to find the total sum. What do you do? You break into individual. You break into individual component. For example, your function, you have u, v, and w. So you, you, you write the first one. Right, the first one, del z over del u times du. Second one, you write del z over del u du because u is the second second parameter inside. And then you, you need to consider the third one also. Del z over del w dw. This is the first equation you derive. Okay, so let's look how we apply this concept. So you are given this equation. Example number nine, you're given z. Z is a function, it, keep, it, it gives you a, a statement. Z is in a function of X and Y. So you, can, you see in the question there, the, the question gives you Z equal to F bracket X comma Y. It means that your Z is influenced by X and Y. Then you're given the Z equation. Z equal to pi square, uh, Z equal to X square Y power 3 plus 2x divided by y plus 1. Determine the total differential of dz. Okay? How do we find the total differential of something? You look at the equation. You look at the function over there. It means in this function, you only look at x and y. Uh, let's say this z equation, there's a, certainly there's one more unknown. Let's say p inside. Uh, plus 1 plus 2p. You don't look at the 2p. Huh? You continue to carry the 2p into your calculation. Uh, you look at the function. Huh? So if the function will tell you, focus on what? In this, in this example, the question already tell you, focus only on x and y. So when you do total differential, you look at the function, follow the function instruction. Okay. So in this case, you copy the question equation z equal to x square y cube plus 2x divided by y plus 1. So by using the general equation that we used just now, this one. So the question only gives you to focus on x and y. So what you do, you write dz equal del z over del x dx. Again, now there's a different shape of the symbol here. This one is an inverted 6 del. This one is a D, uh, delta D. So it, during test, don't give me three del in your answer. If you write del, 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 I put a question mark here. Because that is not a general equation for total differential. Total differential consists of del over del times D something. Okay. So this is a general equation. You write dz over del z over del x dx plus del z over del y dy. 
Why only X and Y? Because the question already tell you, your Z only influenced by X and Y. That's why you only have these two. Okay, this one we already learned previously. How you get this one? We do the first one. We do the second one using the red color equation. So let's do the first one. Del Z over del X using first equation. Nizam, can you try to solve the first one? Shakil, later you answer this one. Huh? What happened if you del Z over del Y? Nizam, try to solve the second line on the screen here. How, what is the answer for del Z over del X using this equation? What do you get? Uh, the first one will be two x y or e plus. Okay. Yeah. The, the first one, the first one, you have x square y power three, right? So the question asks you to do del z over del x. The first one, the first one. It asks you to solve only this one. Del Z over Del X, what do you get? You differentiate over X, what do you get? The first one. The first one, two X. You, you differentiate over X, right? Ah, uh, yeah. So you still, okay, yeah, correct. Two X over Y power three. Uh, then what about the second one? Uh, Nizam, continue your answer. Second one. Second one, uh, what? It'll be two over Y. Correct. Then the third one? Uh, just pull down, so plus one. Plus one, you differentiate over x, what do you get? Oh, differentiate x one. Uh, this one, you over x, what do you get? You differentiate solid number, what do you get? You still remember the line gradient that I tell you? You differentiate, you differentiate solid number, what do you get? You differentiate uh, x over... Yeah. Uh, you get zero. Lah. Okay. So this is the answer from Lisa, which is correct. So you first, you solve for the first one first. All right. You get this equation. Next, you do solve for this one. Okay. Shakil, what is the del Z over del Y using the same equation? Shakil, what happened to the answer for the second, for the third line over here? Shakil, are you there? Shakil, what is the answer for the third line over here on the screen here? Shakil, calling Shakil for the third line. 2 y 3 Okay. 2y3, how two you get 2y? How do you get 2y? You tell me. Uh, because you only differentiating the x right. I asked you about the... I asked oh, you to solve this okay. one. How, how do you get 2y? You're looking at x square power, x square y power 3, right? You differentiate over uh -huh. y, what do you get? Oh, oh, oh I, uh... 2x, eh, no, uh, 6x, y, how you get 2. Six, how you get 6x? What is this equation tell uh, you? Del z over del y. Del z over del y. What is your z? Your z is this one. So, okay, we focus on this equation, but now you differentiate over y. What is the first first item when you differentiate over y? What do you get? X power two, oh, y uh, power three. What do you get? Oh, okay, okay. I I was seeing the already differentiated one. Okay. So that one later. That one later. Okay. <laughs> do, do this one first. Uh, three, do this one first. Uh, uh, 
3x2 uh-huh. y2 okay then plus so 2x over 1 and no the 2x you write the 2x in, in, over y yeah you write in the index form what do you get 2xy minus 1 right oh yeah uh, uh, so how do you okay, differentiate so uh, uh. So, x y minus 1 uh, uh, y i will need 2 x y to the power of 2 over over y to the power of 2 okay. that's 0 okay so you get this one huh? you get minus 2 x divided uh, by yeah. y power 2 plus 0 so one you get this one you substitute back here Okay, you substitute back here. This is the final answer of total differential answer. Okay, nothing complex here. You can do this one. You write the general equation. What is the total differential equation? You look at the question, the function given. It will tell you already. Something will influence by what? By this question, the z was influenced by x and y. So you need to focus on x and y. So you write your equation here. Z influenced by x and y. So how do you write the inference? Del z over del x. And this one is d, not del. Then this one is del z over del y, dy. The rest is the substitution. You do this one. Put the bracket. Substitute inside. Copy the dx. This one you need done. Put the bracket. Copy your answer from here. Put it here. Y, copy. You get the full mark for this total differential question. Okay? So, basically the challenges is this one. Let's look at one more example. So, example number 10. You're given a Z influenced by three number or three parameter in this case. Just now, you look at example 9, yeah? Example 9, Z only influenced by XY. But now in example 10, Z influenced by three things there. U, V, and W. Uh, so I, do you know how to write this, this kind of equation? Right? So you have a Z equal to U something, V something, W, V something. The question asks you to find total differential of Z, of the Z. First, remember... Copy the question. Red, uh, red color. Z equal to 3u power 2 minus 2v plus 4w power 3v power 2. Next, write the general formula. Okay, write the general formula. So since the question already tell you it influenced by u, v, and w, copy the general equation. You write dz, the u component, v component and w component so in test we will only change the uvw into something pqr or something eh? but it's still the same right you look at the question you already tell you what is changing or what is influenced the z so you write dz equal to u v and w so you write del z over del u du again this is del del and this one is delta d if you write del 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 i put a question mark there you won't get marks for this equation eh? again eh? del del delta del inverted six del inverted six and this one is d delta yeah any question shakil any question no nizam no eh? Okay, so this one is just based on the question. The question will tell you uh, influenced by U, influenced by V, influenced by W. Then, by looking at this equation, you do this one, you do this one, you do this one, like what you learned previously. This is a first order differentiation, first order differentiation, first order differentiation by looking at the red color equation. After you do differentiation, 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 you rewrite this equation, put a bracket, substitute inside, you get the full mark for that one. Okay. Uh, Edmund, you understand how to write this one? Edmund? Okay.
Okay, ah. Huh? Nizam, you okay? You know how to write this one? Yeah, okay. Okay, ah. Huh? So the rest is just the one that you learned previously. First, you do the del u. Look at this equation, only focus on u. If there's no u, you become zero, okay? So the first one, 3u power 2, you become 6u. The second one, minus 2v, don't have u, become zero. The third one, wv, don't have u, become zero. But in the in the test or exam, uh, give me uh, plus zero, plus zero. Uh. Okay, but of course, if you, you didn't write zero, zero, I will still give you full marks. Uh. Okay, but it will be good to write plus zero, plus zero, if you have a zero uh, answer. Then you do the second one. So you know that the first one don't have V, become zero. Second one, minus two V become two. This one, W, you doesn't care, continue forward. This one, V, power two, two, pull to the front, become eight. This one, V power two, two minus one, you get one. Okay. Then you do the third one, W. Same. The first one don't have W, become zero. Second don't have W, become zero. The third one only focus on W. This one continue to, because it's attached together, it linked together, so you forward, carry forward this one. Same, but you do differentiation for W, become 12 W power two, get this one. The rest, just substitution, copy the same equation, put in the bracket and substitute. Okay, dz over that 6u, copy from here, du, Again, okay, now when you write, don't influence by the delta. Huh? This one is d, yeah, delta. Then this one also copy from here. This one copy into here. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, this is the answer. Uh, if if in the in the exam you give me this one also, I give you correct lah. Okay, this is just a more well well arranged because. Normally we will give the power to the front in front rather than just put like this. Okay, but in exam again, task or exam, if you end over here, I'll still give you full marks. Right? Yeah. Okay, but when you come to degree level, then you have to write in this one. Ah. Okay. Since you're doing diploma, okay, I still can tolerate if you answer rich here. Okay. Next. Example 11, this one will normally appear in the uh, test or final exam. So, you read the question, you read the question. It tells you pressure, volume, temperature of a gas is related to an equation. PV equal to KT. K is a constant. Determine the total differential. Total differential of P... You have two, two, uh, two parts here. One is total differential of dp, and another one is total differential of dt in terms of pvt. Now, this one is what you learn, uh, what you uh, learn during the lab session. Okay, you're doing thermodynamics uh, session. You study about pv uh, equal to kt. Uh, you derive the equation um, in the experiment. That's why you get the total differential of the EP uh, by the experimental data. Okay, now how do you do this one? You read the question and then you construct based on what you learned in the previous two examples. Right, don't confuse with all the complex wording here. You look for the question. You look for the function, which is this one. Right, PV equal to KT. And then it asks you to answer the pressure and temperature. So if you want to solve for pressure, you rewrite the equation. You rewrite this equation. The first one, AP, right? It asks you to find pressure. So the left-hand side only have pressure. The, the V you pull to the right-hand side. Then if you want to solve for the second one, focus on temperature, right? On the left-hand side only, you have temperature. Then the rest you pull to the right-hand side. For example, for the second one, the T, uh, you pull the K to the left hand side and then you, you have T equal to something. That is the first main idea. 
Then after that, you continue use what you learned in the previous two or three example that we go through just now. You do the partial differential. Okay, let's do the first one. We solve for the del P. So we copy the equation PB equal to KT. Since we are going to solve pressure, total differential of pressure, we rewrite the equation in term of pressure. So you you empty out the left hand side only seeing P like this. You rewrite the top one into the second one. You move the V to the left hand side or uh, to the right hand side. Okay, again, uh, some of you, you are quite weak in these uh, steps. Uh. Go and polish up your uh, algebra skill. So this one, P then multiply by V, the relationship is multiply. You move from the left to right, it becomes divide. That's why the V is uh, uh, below the KT. Okay, then the next, you know that how to write differential equation, right? It tells you that K is a constant. K is a constant. Then inside this equation only have two things you can control. Under this equation, K is a constant means it's a number. T and V is something that you can change. So you differentiate over T and V. So rewrite the construct, the new equation using the general uh, example just now. So you write this equation. DP equal something that influence the P, something that influence the P. Okay, so you write del P, you, this above one, top one, follow the front on the left, on the, on the left hand side. So del P over del T, dT plus the volume. Del P over del V, dV, yeah? again, uh, this is del, del, this is delta, uh. del inverted 6, del inverted 6, this is delta D. Don't write this one delta, I uh. don't write this one del. Uh. Okay, uh, doesn't matter if you put V in front or T in front, doesn't matter. Both same, uh. doesn't matter. You can put the V in front or T in front. Doesn't matter. Any question up to this stage? Nizam, you okay? Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. Shakir, you okay? Okay, sir. Uh, Edmund? Edmund. Okay, yeah. So this is how you solve. Once you can able to understand to write this one, basically you can get full mark for the rest already. The difficult part is this one. If you're not able to write this one, then you cannot do the rest. Make sure you understand how to get this one. Okay. In the test, I will give you a statement, something like this, but I will tell you, I'll give you one equation you rewrite the total differential equation out. There's a mark for this one. Okay. This one costs you maybe one to two marks. This one, huh? Then the rest, you differentiate this equation, second, uh, this second line of equation over T, differentiate this one over V. Okay. Edmund, what is the answer? For del P over del T using the equation, the second line, what is the answer? Edmund, what is the answer for the third line? Negative KT over V squared. No, uh, Edmund, you look at the question. I asked you to solve del P over del T. I'm not asking you to differentiate over V. I asked you to differentiate over T. I asked you to solve this part by using this equation, second line equation. What do you get? K 
over V. K over V, correct. Okay, so this part, del P over del T, you get K over V. The second part is the one that uh, Edmund answered earlier. Del P over del V, you get negative KT divided by V powers uh, 2. We did this one. Okay, the next is just substitute inside here, then you get the final answer. Okay, bracket, substitute this answer here, this one over here, bracket, pull this one in, you get a negative, rearrange, this one pull to the outside, this one become negative. Okay, this one become this one, because I pull the negative sign outside, positive multiplied by negative, I get negative. Okay, yeah. Then the next one, how do we remove the uh, k? Yeah? How we remove the k from the equation? Because it asks you to put in term of p, v, and t. How do you remove the k? Again, uh, this equation, it do not ask you to put your answer in term of k. Yeah? There's no k here. p, v, t. There's no k. If the, if the question is Put you in term of P, V, T, and K, uh, then you end here. But the question only asks you P, V, T. Your answer still have K. How do you remove K? How do you remove K? Substitute by using the general uh, the equation in the question P, V equal to K, T. You substitute back. Okay, P, V equal to K, T. What is K? You rewrite this equation, k on the left-hand side, and then you pull the t to another side. Okay, your k equal to pv divided by t. Substitute this one, substitute this one, huh? substitute this one into k, substitute this one into k here. Again, huh? why do we removing the k? Or why do we substituting all these things? Because the question do not want you to put in term of P, V, T, K. The question only asks you to put your total differential in term of P, V, T. The question don't want to see K in your answer. So that's why we are removing the K. How you removing the K? Go back to the general equation, uh, the equation given in the question. So in test or final exam, you won't see this one. You won't see this, this uh, PV equal to KD. I'll give you one new equation. So you need to know how to remove the constant inside there. Okay, you need to know how to remove by replacing the K inside the equation, inside your answer. In this case, we use PV to PV equal to KT. We move the T to the Another side, we know what is our K. Substitute PV divided by T in the answer. It will become this one. Here to here. Do you understand these steps? Any question? Any of you, you don't, you don't know how to remove K and reach these steps? Stop me. Eh? If you're not able to understand why suddenly my k value become PV divided by T? Stop me eh, if you're not able to relate. Why suddenly these steps become these steps? Okay. You rearrange the equation. You rearrange the equation. Uh, this is a part like uh, some of you, you are quite weak. Huh? You need to know how to how to uh, simplify the equation of this one. Huh? So you simplify, you will arrive, you can remove your V. Okay. If you're not able to see clearly, what, what I recommend to you is that you write this one and then you multiply by 1 over V. You write this one multiply by 1 over v. 1 over v is this one. If you're not able to see clearly, 
you rewrite this one, you write, you write this whole thing, multiply by 1 over v square. You rewrite the whole thing, multiply by 1 over v square. Then you cancel. First one, this one simplified to this one, this one simplified to this one. This is the final answer in terms of P, V, and T. Any question on this part? Everyone happy? Any question? Edman, you okay? Okay. Shakir, you alright? Okay, sir. All right. Nizam, you okay? Yeah, good, sir. All right. So for the B, for the B, yeah, delta T, I also treat as your homework. You go and try out how to find del total differentials of del T or partial differential of temperature in terms of P, V, and T. Same procedure but you need to change something inside. Okay, try out as your homework. Again, example 11 will be your test one or final exam standard. I'll give you a scenario. You use a scenario to solve the question. Okay. Again, uh, B will be the homework. However, all the answer is inside my slides. Let's go to the next one. Uh, do you guys need, need rest? Or you can continue? What do you guys think? Do you guys want a short break? Uh, short break, cancer. Okay, we go for a short break. I end the recording.